Competing match under IBJJF submission rules. Here we go, first first girls match of the night. Right. Both looking oh, very, very Sonia. keen. Sonia. I've trained with Jolie before. I've never trained with Sonia, but training out of RJ gym box with uh, Caesar Lima, Ross Nichols and all of them lot, you know she's going to be tasty. They're a very, very good yeah. gym. Uh, they're very talented guys, good guard game, uh, very submission hungry, very technical. So, yeah, you, you, you know she's going to be good coming out of that gym. Straight away, she's looking to play some setup guard position, looking to tighten that arm, expect her to try and sweep Jolie. Yeah, to the side there, beautifully done. When you tighten that arm, you sweep straight on top and they can't base without with that arm. RGA very good with their sweeps. Um, I've seen Ross Nichols use them hundreds of times in comp. Oh, she sits backwards and throws a leg over the top. This is IBJJF rules, so she's not allowed to knee reap. She needs to be very careful what she does with that leg so it doesn't cross over the body. Is it the belly button, if it crosses past the yes. belly button? Yes, yes. Interesting that she sat backwards for a uh, to attack the arm there. That's uh, to, to attack the leg. Sorry. Now, Jolie Boyle wearing a Rani 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 gi. It's a, one of the first um, women's only gi. They've Women made, only gi. Yeah, they've Sex, made their sexism at its finest. <laughs> she's got a belly down, footlock there. That extension in the back means that she thinks she's got it on. Jolie doesn't look panicked, but it doesn't look like a comfortable position. I wonder whether this could be an, a quick finish. She looks pretty relaxed on top. She's full arch there. Um, doesn't seem yeah, to have the knee locked up too okay, much. This is not a good wow. position. This is not a good position. Jolie looks very relaxed there, but that foot is bending in a way that I would not like to see. And girls do have flexible joints. Yeah, but come on, there's got to be a limit. Jolie just totally chilled about this. Oh, my God. And, 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 and it looks like her heel's slipping out of that foot just a little bit. Can't see too much from this angle. Just flexible limbs, you know. I've just seen it a lot of times. Um, you know, women getting wrist locked, arm barred, and just sometimes it looks like it's broken, and they're just sitting there smiling like nothing's jo happening. Jodie, just a flick of her hair, make sure it's not in her face there. While she's got a girl it's trying to rip her foot off, and in a pretty good position to do it. So fair play for composure to uh, Jodie Ball. Hair matters. It does matter. That foot comes out there. Fit. Nice rolling back take attempt. Oh, this is this is IBJJF rules. Is it? Is this purple belt rules or is it black belt rules? Because that would look like a knee bar attempt. Yeah, we've we've confirmed it's a purple belt IBJJF rules, so knee bars won't be allowed. Has someone told? Uh, Sonia Pierce because she looks to be quite aggressively attacking, attacking that leg. There's nothing there for her uh, in terms of submissions on that leg right now apart from the straight knee bar. So fair play to Jodie for getting out of that straight foot lock attempt. That was very, very composed, uh, very patient. Wow. And now on, top. now on top, it's her turn to see if she can put a little bit of hurting back on Sonia. Looking quite solid from the top here. Um, let's see if she attacks as ferociously as, um, as what Sonny did. Four minutes into this fight, this is another one. All of these matches, apart from the kids' matches, will go to EBI overtime if there isn't a submission victory during regulation time. Sonia Pierce just re just reverses Jolie Ball straight into side control on top. They disengage. Jolie looking to play off of her back now. Yeah, looks the pull. Immediately, Sonia drops that knee and for the knee three pass.
It's only looking for the um, the, the collar choke before she's passed. You know, it's uh, maybe setting herself up for when she has passed, but she's still going to have to get that foot out. And the foot's out. So a real back and forth so far in this match. Now uh, Sonia Piers on top. She's looking to set up a choke here. She's got the right hand in the collar and then throwing her right leg over the top. And she's trying to, so you've got the backwards pressure of your leg with that controlling pressure on the lapel of the hand, looking to try and get a squeeze in between there on the neck. Not successful. It's a very hard submission to finish, unless you're super strong. You get that leg real deep and put everything you've got into it. Very, very hard submission to finish. After seeing uh, Jolie just pretty much ignore that footlock attempt, I think it's going to take a little bit more to take her down. Sonia's coaches from RGA Gym Box in that corner there. Igor Tureko, Algeria de Lima, who will be fighting later tonight. And of course, RGA Gym Box, the boss, Cesar Lima, Roger Gracie Black Belt, uh, very calmly giving her precise instructions as she feeds her hand through and sets up a Kimura position. Now, the thing is with the Kimura, you try and go for the Kimura, and if it doesn't work, you transition to the armbar. Is Sonia going to transition to the armbar? Because it's very hard to Kimura someone in the gi. They can grab onto their belt, they can grab onto their own uh, sleeve and stuff like that. There we go, right on cue, she transitions to the armbar. Is Jolie's elbow as flexible as her ankle? Well, I think we're going to find out if, we are. if Sonia Piers manages to take the leverage advantage over the wrist then she's going to extend that and she's going to put everything she's got into this. There she goes, she's got the wrist and straight, tapped straight, straight away. Yeah. Very nicely done. Once again, just like the uh, Cameron fight, Kimura attempt, couldn't get it, armbar, done. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get the result, would you please show some support for what was an incredible back and forth contest. And with 3 minutes and 18 seconds, a referee in charge. All you get is a couple of stops to this contest. Declare your winner by armbar from Roger Gracie Gym Box, Sonia Piers. <laughs> and would you please show some support for the Gracie Bar Essex team member Julie Boyle.